politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fuller. Now, Adam Rukundo, a final year student of law at Kampala International University, uh, was murdered over the weekend and his body dumped in uh, his hostel room uh, during Easter holiday. Uh, Adam was in a first semester or fourth year pursuing a Bachelor of Laws program at the Kasanga Best Care U campus. According to the post-mortem report, Adam was hit by an iron bar and uh, this is believed to have happened while he was on his way to hostel on Saturday evening. Well, that is a very sad story coming from that side of Kasanga, and uh, may he so rest in peace. Now, Ugandans on different social media platforms have asked the Prime Minister of Uganda, that is the Right Honorable Robina Nabanja, to resign from her office after admitting in a viral video that she cannot supervise the ministers because, uh, you know, they are highly educated. Uh, many Ugandans have claimed that Nabanja's statement is a sign that she is too incompetent to occupy the office of the Prime Minister, therefore should get sacked by the President who is uh, the appointing authority. Some of these people are highly educated. When you look at one of them, she's a doctor. I don't know a doctor in which field, but she's a doctor. By the time you attain that, that status, you are highly educated. So for me, <laughs> I don't know how you expect me to be monitoring her, a highly educated person. Now, the spokesperson of Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, has been given 24 hours to apologize to the media fraternity in Uganda, but also arrest police constable Ogwal, who pepper sprayed journalists as they covered doctors who had walked out of their guest house protesting about their welfare. A section of journalists have said if police doesn't apologize in 24 hours, they are going to strip naked on the streets of Kampala and surprisingly, they will appear at the police headquarters in Naguru. Our police is yet to make a statement on this police officer. It should be recalled that this is not the first time such happening to journalists. Uh, journalists in Uganda have been beaten many times on the streets of Kampala and most of the times, the culprits are never punished. We don't know why. <laughs> Now, Dr. Kizar Besige, the president of the Red Card Movement, is back in the country from abroad. Uh, Besige traveled having felt unwell in uh, February. Besige says he's feeling better now and uh, he'll be bouncing back on the political scene anytime soon. We continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Now, the former Archbishop of the Church of Uganda, Luko Rombi, has been welcomed back in West Nile by religious and political leaders as he returned from Kampala, where he's been undergoing treatment. Orombi was airlifted to Kampala and admitted at Nakasero Hospital a few weeks ago after his health deteriorated. Well, we thank God he's back to his homeland and uh, we continue to wish him a very quick recovery. Now, finally, from uh, the entertainment industry, uh, Wiso Manizo has confirmed that his baby mama, Sandra Teta, is back in the country from Rwanda months after it was reported that their relationship was ending in tears. After all the words have been said and everything done, baby wango I love you baby, I wonder. I love you baby, I love you Uganda like, I love you baby, 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 I